Hi everyone and welcome to our low impact leg and ab focus workout. What we're doing today is going to be time. However, we want to remember that we're not going to rush through the time. It's just there to set as a marker for our reps because I can't count. So as normal, if you have any special niggles that you need to work out, stop and, and uh, warm that up right now. But for now, we're just going to do a short little warm up because it is quite heavy. So we're just doing these step outs, bringing some heat to our muscles, okay? little bit of uh, a warm-up included in this as it will be quite leg heavy. Just another few seconds here then we're going to do some hip openers. All right so just swing your hips up. So today we are doing uh, 40 seconds on 20 seconds off and a total of four rounds. So you'll do each exercise twice and then we'll move on to the next group of exercises. So we have two per round. Each section is about four minutes. And we have eight different sections. Okay, we're just gonna switch over here into some high kicks. Now we will be staying off our wrists today as it is leg focused and up. So we will be doing some standing ups. Of course, if any of the exercises are causing you any sort of grief, please stop. Give yourself a second to breathe and do it to your ability. All right, we're just gonna go into hip circles. Nice and slow here. Perfect. Switch directions. Direction. Excellent, that's nice. We're gonna keep our legs wide for this next one, stretching out our back a bit. Hands out, we're just going to reach down to where we can. We can't touch the ground, no problem. So we get a nice little stretch on our back. The main point of a warm up is to bring some heat to our muscles. I've already done a bit of a stretch before because I'm quite sore as well. So let's just keep it going. Okay, now I want you to go back to the step outs and I'm just gonna demonstrate the first exercise uh, work that we're doing. I'm doing something called duck walks. I actually don't need my mat right now. So the duck walk is here. You put your hands on your head or on your hip in front of you. We're just walking forward and walking backwards, maintaining that low squat. Buzzer goes, we're gonna focus on one side and do sprinters, okay? Five seconds, and we're on. Let's go. All right, here we go. So nice, slow steps, like I said, the timer is there. However, we are not going to be rushing through our exercises, okay? It's just there to make sure I don't lose track. <laughs> And today is low impact. We always want to focus on our quality over our quantity. Nice and slow here. Just start the, to feel the burn on those quadriceps. Three seconds left. Two and one. Perfect. So you're going to choose a side here, whichever side suits you best. We're going to go on our standing lunge on that side, this round. And the next time we come around, we'll do the other side. And then we're on to the next group. Here we go. So we're just bringing that knee up. This is a great um, exercise for our abs. So a lot of today's work won't be on the ground necessarily doing our abs. There'll be a lot of standing moves where we like kind of secretly get them. Let's keep it going. You should feel that nice burn in the glutes on your stationary leg. 10 seconds left. I think I'm turning here. Feels good. Three seconds, two, 
and rest. Woo. Okay, now we're gonna be back into our duck walks. Then we'll do the other side with our standing lunges. Then we're done. Out of circuit one. So you might feel your duck walks a little more this time. Try to sink maybe even a little lower. Here we go. Nice and slow. Keeping our back nice and straight. Abs are tucked in here. Breathing. Sorry if I go out of the camera, I can't see that. Ten seconds left. And rest. Perfect. So we're going to our opposite leg this time. And our next workout that we're starting with are one and a half sumos. So I'll just get us prepared. We go down, up halfway, down and up. All right. Here we go. Now I don't give any extra breaks between uh, the different rounds because we want to keep our body constantly moving. This is low impact, um, you know, no equipment, we have no jumping, so we do want to kind of keep our heart in that elevated space. So that's why we're going to limit our rest and keep putting that tension on our body. Let's keep going. Feel that nice burden in the glutes, well I do anyways. <laughs> Three seconds, and rest. Perfect. All right, we're on to circuit two. So, like I said, we're doing one and a half sumo squat. So with the sumo squat, or plie squat, feet are a little wider apart. We're gonna go all the way down, halfway up, all the way down. Here we go. All the way down, halfway up, all the way down, back up. Down up, down, up. Perfect. Our exercise that will coincide with this are hip thrusters on the ground or hip bridges, whatever you are more commonly used to referring them as. Now everyone's sumo squat will look different. Don't compare yourself to the person next to you or to me because we all have different you know, irregularities to our body. It's a tough word. Okay. Going on the ground for our hip thrusters, hip bridges, whatever you want to call them. Planting both our feet, and we're just popping up in three seconds. Two and one. So pop. If you can, try to just lightly tap your butt on the ground, don't land, okay? So we want our legs to be working, our glutes to be working, we're squeezing at the top. So we're not just pushing up through our hips. We don't wanna come like that and bend our back. Up to the top, squeezing our glutes. That's where we'll really feel the nice contraction there. That's where we'll get the work. Almost there, three seconds, and rest. Okay, back into our one and a half goblet squats. Two more squats. <laughs> not goblet squats, we're not holding anything. Okay, find your sumo position. Let's go, down, halfway up, down, all the way up. Now, if you want to, you can actually just stay here. But we have, oh, I'm gonna go up, quite a long leg workout here. So we are just reducing that time under tension a little bit, considering we've already increased it by doing our half squat. Once again with these, squeezing your glutes at the top. 
and rest. Okay, into our hip thrusters, and we're on to our next, which will be a lunge and a kickstand RDL. We'll demonstrate that in 45 seconds. <laughs> okay, here we go. Once again, up and squeeze. Up and squeeze. So we're not throwing our hips up, just to get up. We're lightly tapping our bottom, squeezing our glutes at the top, pushing through our heels, doing unreal. Keep it going, guys. We have less than 10 seconds left here. And rest. Okay, we are into our next exercise, so I'll show you it. We're going to be doing a reverse lunge to a kickstand RDL. So we'll bend that leg that was lunging, reach down till we feel the pull, and up. Okay, so a reverse lunge, up, and bend. Fantastic. Up, bend. If you have good enough balance, you don't need that leg. We're just going into an RDL here. However, the kickstand here allows you to get that full range of motion without risking any sort of injury. A little more low impact oriented and I promise you, you will still feel it. And rest. Right now, we're going to do an ab move, standing ab move, knee to elbow. So what's happening is we have our elbows here. We're going to cross. If you have any issues with crossing, please do not cross. Just knees up here. Three, two, one. And if your knee does not get to your elbow, a bit of a issue with that sometimes, <laughs> there's no problem. Okay, so once again, if the twisting is gonna cause your hip, hips or back pain, stand here, focus on your breathing, you will still get an ab workout. Exhaling as the work is happening. There, okay? Keep it going, three seconds left and rest. Awesome, so we're gonna move to our other side here, into our reverse lunge and our kickstand RDL. So once again, it's a lunge. You're bringing that leg up into a little bent position while maintaining a straight leg on your lunge leg. Okay, here we go. Oh, I think we're gonna have a visitor. She's just peeking into the corner here. She likes to check it out. I'm in her space here on the balcony. All right. Reaching down. I'm going to do an RDL here. It totally depends on where you are at. Perfect, and rest. You've heard it all before. There's no point in comparing yourself with other people. Your competition is you. So are you better than the last time? Did you get further than the last time? And it's okay if you didn't. All right, knee to elbows. Just as long as you're putting your best foot forward, your greatest effort, it's all we can ask. Whether it's heating up here in the UAE, <laughs> it is getting warmer. It happened overnight. This was an ideal place to do workouts. I didn't sweat as much, but uh, it's happening now. <laughs> Three seconds. 
and rest. Perfect, we're into round four. Um, and what we're doing here, quite ab focused, low plank, slow tap outs, and then sit up. So our low plank, we're off our wrists, just on our forearms here, nice and slowly tapping our legs out. Okay, here we go. So remember to tuck that pelvis. All right, we have a little upward bend is what it would look like. But that's because we're engaging our core. When we're like this, it's not doing anything except hurting our lower back. So let's make sure we're engaging that core. This is work and everything here. Five seconds left. Three. And rest. Perfect. Okay. We're going into sit-ups. Now, there are a few different variations of sit-ups. Find the one that works best for you. Whether it's bent leg, straight leg, arms back, arms forward. Does not matter for me. Do what will save you. Here we go. Of course we still want to work, but I don't want you to be hurting. Exhaling on our way up. Inhaling on our way down. That's, that will get our diaphragm working correctly. Oxygen production is more efficient and that helps our muscles. It also engages our core properly in exercises. And rest. Okay, we're doing that again. Then we're back up off the ground again. <laughs> okay, 10 seconds. Then we're into our low plank tap outs. And we're sit ups once again. Three seconds, here we go. <laughs> and let's begin. So nice, slow, it's like a metronome. Imagine you have a pace setter here. As you can see, my parents had me do piano. I had the metronome. Make sure your shoulders are stacked over your elbows so that we're fully engaging that core. It's the only time, I think, <laughs> that we are on our uh, arms today. Remember, three seconds left. And rest. Whew. Back to our sit-ups. I'm sweaty. <laughs> okay, three seconds. Here we are. Whoever wants to tell you that low impact exercises don't work is wrong. <laughs> They're fantastic. Two. <laughs> and here we go. 
Perfect. So the standing donkey kick, if you want to use a bar, no problem. One leg at a time. You can do this without a bar, without a person, if your balance is all right. Going to make sure we're not touching the ground. Toe is pointed. Here we go. So I really have to focus here. It'll get our glute, our hamstring, oh, our calves, the whole backside of our legs are working here. So once again, if your balance isn't great, grab something. I'm just trying to focus on like a sign over the balcony while watching the time. Our standing leg is working hard as well. We have five seconds left. And rest. Woo. Okay. How are we feeling? <laughs> I hope good. Okay, we are going back into our step out squats with the narrow squat. We're gonna do that. Three seconds. Okay. Step out, narrow. Step out, narrow. Guys, again, your squat will look different to mine and to whoever you are with. With this one, we are trying to keep our toes forward because we don't want to do a sumo squat. It's not as wide as a sumo squat. However, if you splay your toes a bit, like that, it's no problem. Just avoiding any sort of discomfort on the knees and the hips. And there we go. <laughs> okay, working that other side. Then we are into a nice sumo squat with the calf raise. So couldn't let you couldn't let you go with only one sumo squat. So our other leg here. You're gonna have to find, let's go. Something else to look at. Try to keep your toe pointed. That will engage whoop, the whole leg. If you fall like that, a little off balance, no problem. Get yourself back up. It happens. Especially on tired legs. Whoop, caught myself. Barely. You can see I'm a little off kilter here. We're almost there. Feel it in my hamstrings. And rest. Perfect. Okay. Next move, circuit six of eight. We're into a sumo squat with calf raise. So we're going to go down into our sumo squat, up on our toes, down and up. Very fun. <laughs> Three seconds. Here we go. Down, toes, down, up. Nice and slow. Toes, down, up. Guys, if this is too much on the joints, remove the calf raise or do it at the top. What I mean by that is do it there, no problem. And up, down. Raise, 10 seconds left. Start to feel those legs burning. Down, raise, up, and rest. We're going to stay in our wide stance. However, we're going to turn our toes forward now. We're doing lateral lunges. So the lateral lunge, side to side, nice, slow, low impact, alternating, okay? And we're off. Down, up, down, up. One thing to remember here, we're bringing our butt backwards. Like we're sitting on a chair. We're not leaning forwards. Bringing our bum backwards. Even if that means we need to reduce our height to here. Okay, if our range of motion can't get us all the way down, that's okay. We want to do it properly. There's no, no point in us doing something if we're not going to do it right. You will get there. Three seconds and rest. I'll show you on the 
next time we come around, how it should look from the side. Okay, back to our sumo calf raises. Nice and slow. machines, <laughs> like curls, all those. <laughs> Almost there. <laughs> and rest. 
my feet are starting to slip. Okay, back into our curtsy lunges. Then we only have one more circuit. I don't know what to call it. Circuit. Okay, let's go. Nice, slow, controlled. Don't go down as low if it's too much for you. Almost there. Five seconds left. And rest. Okay. We are into our last round here. It's a five second squat pull, then we'll come up and release and go back down. And then we're into toe taps on the ground. So, five seconds, three, going down. Hold, I'll tell us when to get up. <laughs> and up, down. Let's see how my mats work out here. And up. Down. Good job. And up. Down. Nearly there. Feel those buns. And up. Down. Almost there. Almost there. And up. And down. Three, two, one. Rest. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay, on the ground, our toe taps, our legs up, and we're just reaching to where we can reach, okay? It's our knees, our shins, our ankles, our toes, whatever. We're going to hammer in those lower abs. Three seconds. Let's go. Exhaling once again on your up move. There. Make it audible. You're going guys this is a tough one it gets right into those abs you have 20 seconds left keep it going toes pointed almost there five seconds don't give up and rest Whew, okay one more of each of those, and then you've completed your workout. So we are into our squat holds. They're not fun. Find the squat that suits you best. Anchor your toes in. Splay them outwards. Here we go. What I mean by that is you are going to up, down, push your left toes to the left, up, push your right toes to the right, clockwise and anti-clockwise, keep holding, and up, down again, that way you're sitting correctly, your glutes are engaged, and up, down again, <sighs> and up, last time, last five seconds here, three, two, one. Ooh, give those legs a shake. Last exercise, our toe taps. Then we get to stretch, yay. Okay, five seconds. Let's get those feet up. Here we go, exhaling on our way out. Our way up, I suppose. Maybe way out of comfort. <laughs> Here we go, keep going. At least I cracked myself up. <sighs> Less than 20 seconds left. Almost there. I can feel it. Don't give up. Three seconds, two, one. Woo. 
audience. Oh. <laughs> we are going to stand up now. We burned about 300 calories there, whatever that means to you. Okay, first and foremost, let's take a deep breath. In through the nose, arms up. And when we come out, out and down. This time, up. time when we come up, we're going to do the exact same thing, but as we blow out, we're going to come forward. So up, and out, forward, reaching. Don't let your back drop, but let your neck drop a little bit. Soft bend in the legs. We're holding. Three, two, one, and down. Ugh. Feel that nice pull out of your hamstrings, letting your neck, your back, your arms, everything fall, nice and relaxed. And very slowly on your inhale, you're gonna come up. Very slowly, we don't wanna have anyone fall backwards there. Okay, bringing our feet together, let's cross one leg over the other. Inhale up, exhale. We're gonna fold nice and slowly all the way down. Perfect, once again, relax if we can. You can shut your eyes, but you might feel yourself go off balance there. All right, slowly up on the inhale. Perfect, going across over the other side. Once again, inhale up, exhale forward. Folding, nice and slow, down to our feet. Nice hold here in the back of our hamstrings, our glutes. Inhale up, nice and slow. Excellent, okay? If you need a partner, that's great, or something to hold. If not, just going to grab our quad here. We're going to push forward through our hips, push our foot back into our hand if we need a deeper stretch, okay? But really push through your hips, you should feel it in your quads there. If you want to lengthen this, you can start to push and bend. Arm out. If not, stay there. Okay, great, we're gonna switch to the other side. So, bringing it up, holding here, pushing through our hips. Okay, so if we're sat back like this, it's not stretching anything, just going to push our hips forward. Pushing your foot into your hand. Okay, now as we're doing that, if you do want to lengthen, you can come forward here. You can lift your leg up, holding, and back, and release. Okay, we are going to on, go on our toe here, and slowly lift our leg up, grabbing it with our hands here. If you want to, you can pull it out to hold a little longer. Get you more in the hip groin area. Bring it back and down. Gonna do the same with the other side. Onto our toe first. Up, tuck it in. Holding here. Maybe you'll just stay here, there's no problem. None at all. Okay, open up. Straightening that leg that's on the ground. Back in and up. Excellent. Okay. Where's my mouth? Just going to do a couple more. Really get into our back and our legs. So, first, we're going to sit down here. Straighten out one leg, bring the other one across. Opposite elbow to knee. 
and turning through our position. Couple breaths here. Fantastic. Release. We shake. Other side. Up and turn. We're looking over our shoulder. Okay. stretching don't rush anything okay up the opposite side now maybe you'll realize like for me I'm so tight here so I can't get my leg all the way down even though I've been stretching all right perfect we're gonna give ourselves a big hug here bend those knees bring them into our chest crossing our hands over them we're going to just massage our back. I prefer side to side. Some people prefer back to front. It's whatever works for you. All right. Excellent. Let those feet down. We're going to flip over. Oh, I don't know what's happening here. It stops. Sorry, apologize. <laughs> Running out of battery. <laughs> and we're just going to uh, put our toes together and go down into child's pose. Arms extended out front. Try to bring your head to the mat if you can. So even if that means just lifting your butt up a bit. There's something to be said about uh, what we call, what is called grounding. which is what we're doing with our head on the ground here. So this is mainly a lower back stretch. If you want to get more into your hips, separate your knees a little more and shoot your butt back into your, this little stretch, deepen your stretch in the right leg. Bring those knees in. We're going to come to all fours. If your hands are sore, your wrists go onto your fists here. Just going to do cat cow. So as we exhale, our back is dropping, butt's dropping. And as we inhale, you're coming up. Exhale. Inhale. Up. Exhale. This is on your own breath, so don't follow me. Let's get a good stretch in the back. Out. Inhale. All right, lastly, tuck our toes here. Just going to go up, down dog. Pedal out those calves. We've used them today. Pedal them out here. And walking our feet up, oh, slow up to the top. One more big breath together. Inhale and exhale. Thank you so much for joining and we will see you next time.